And howdy everybody. We have another little video of Dungeons of Chaos. We are in the Achievements playthrough and we are up to number seven. We also have uh, taken care of a couple of extras that are in the area. So we just finished the Searching Bear's Fruit. Next is number seven, Diamonds Are No Friends. Obtain a heavy ring from a dead man's hideout in a wet underground place. Now, this one's really quick and easy, so it'll be a relatively short video. A lot of walking, uh, but short and easy. Along the way, we're going to pick up a couple of new species that we have to kill. Now, the ones that are a little bit out of the way that we've already taken care of was the Slay Shadow Beast and Defeat the Worm. Uh, we have taken care of those because we were in the tomb area when we went to do the Deep Down Treasure. So, let's get to it. So We do have a lot of walking. All right, so we start in the shelter as usual. We're gonna come out here and swing west until we find the river. We're gonna follow the river just like we're gonna to go to the hollow tree that had the undead weapons, but we're gonna head east. Now this zigzags through the mountains a little bit and then splits. We're gonna go south and we should find a cave. There you go. It is a damp cave because the river winds through it. Yeah, it's fine. Now there are a couple of species around here that we should kill. You got two different types of bats, a large bat and a vampire bat. And then we also have uh, the bloated zombies. The bloated zombies have uh, little bugs that pop out of them, so when we kill the bloated zombies, we also end up killing the bugs, so we'll get those too. But what we're going to do is we're going to follow the river, and it's going to wind through this cavern uh, eastwardly, but it, it zigzags continuously. And we're just going to keep following it. There's a couple of offshoots worth exploring. There's honestly not much in here besides empty caves and bats to, to take care of. There are a couple of uh, little hidden stashes that I'm going to leave for you guys to find. There is one that I want to show you and tell you about just because it is relatively unique. Alright, so when you get to this point in the river, this is where we're going to jump off from following the river and uh, go a little bit south into the cave. I'm going to go ahead and pull the map up here so you guys can see everything that we've explored so far. Okay. If we had a little bit more of a zoom out, it would be nice, but this is a very large cavern. But we started here. Like I said, we were just following the river as it zigzagged. And then we came out here. Now the stash that I want to tell you about is if you keep going this way, it's going to be right around this corner. That little skeleton. I'm going to save. But if you open this up, it's going to be a spell book and it's going to be an insignia. Now, if you need a certain spell or want a certain insignia, you can load this up continuously until you get what you want. Yeah, we'll take it. Who's the mana? That one's 24 though. All right, so that's a nice little stash if you're trying to get a certain spell on an insignia or a certain spell book so you can open something up, uh, by all means, save and reload at that skeleton for a little bit. Uh, you'll come across what you need. Now, if we continue southwardly, it's going to open up into a larger little cavern over here. And I'll show you. There's, It's just a big cavern. But if you explore here, you're going to end up coming across these uh, little pile of sticks here. Yep, you see a broken stick. If you go up here, you're going to find a door, which is absolutely fine. And it says it's beyond our skills. It might be. 
we are on suicidal, so it might be above our skills. No, I think I'm not. And when this happens, you have a door that is well beyond your skills. Game difficulty also affects the locked doors. So, it gives us a different message. It says you might want to retry. So, if we spin, there we go. And, of course, we'll just turn that right back up. So, if there is a door that you're stuck at, and you can't figure it out, go ahead and drop the difficulty down. Again, there's no shame in the difficulty setting. If you need to uh, drop it down to get past something, by all means, do it. If you're one of the hardcore guys uh, or ladies that want to just keep it on suicidal 100% of the game, you might have to go back out to somewhere and level up a little bit, retrain some skills, and do it that way. But we're just at a search right here in this corner where that I have that secret passage. And voila, we have a couple of things to explore. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can read that from over here. It says, you see a parchment, move closer to inspect. Okay. I will inspect that in just a minute. But the ring we want is right there on the top left-hand corner. And we receive the achievement. Diamonds are no friends. Now, we only get one item, no spell book. But it gives us this wedding ring. Uh, all wedding rings, no matter what their quality, is going to give you a malice to evade. And is going to reduce your health by 2%. As with any item in the game, you can have a prefix and a suffix on it. So you can have a wedding ring that has decent statistics. Uh, and, you know, it can give resist, it can give uh, dex and strength bonuses, health bonuses, mana bonuses. But these are the two primary uh, modifiers that's going to be on it no matter what. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll take that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save because we might want to re-roll some of these. So we got principles unlocked. We have five items, decent amount of gold, full helm. I think we already got an insignia. No, no, we don't. You know, we'll take that. We'll take that insignia. That, give me one moment, guys. We'll just edit that out a little bit. I uh, didn't want the background noise to get too much. Between uh, somebody outside honking and the dog going nuts, I wanted you guys to have uh, safer ears on that, so I went ahead and cut that a little bit. All right, so we've got an insignia there. We'll take that. We're going to move a step closer so we can look at this parchment. And it reads, so carefully planned, then one mistake, and the rest is smeared in blood. Now, this is one of those little pitfalls of lore we don't have too much to go on here and hopefully chapter three expands on it a little bit or at least gives an explanation but if you let your mind wander a little bit might be talking about his wedding since we found a wedding ring carefully planned wedding and then he made a mistake maybe his bride killed him we don't know maybe we'll find out in chapter three all right whether to save again i'm going to look at these other chests here and see what we get Oh, it looks very tough. So let's go ahead and we're going to pop that lock. There we go. Unknown sword. A bow of adjointness and an unknown amulet. All right, whatever. Let's just go ahead and try this. Oh. Now another thing with unlock, you can sit here. It says that this looks very tough. Uh, as long as it doesn't say that it is beyond your skills, you can tap the unlock button and you can cast, uh, excuse me, you can tap the lock pick button and you can cast unlock as many times as you want until it actually opens. And it, you will level up your skills. So it is handy that way. All right, so we got some ass kickers. Those are actually fairly decent. We have a bone ring. And we have a longbow that we have to identify. 
but that is that that is another achievement down now we did not find the zombies the bloated zombies and we did not come across the bats so I'm gonna see if we can't get those real quick because again they're right here in the area now I would imagine if we come up here we can find bats no matter what the zombies have a tendency uh, zombies and skeletons if they're out and about it means that it's nighttime and so might be able to get away with uh, finding them if you have the daylight counter on uh, but inside the daylight change does not happen and so you just kind of have to wander around and hope a little bit but another thing that happens with this if you go ahead and let's go ahead and reset our daily skills oh he's right there okay so we were right there close to that daily skill set reset, which happens every night. So we're going to rest just a little bit. And then we'll come across here. Normally they're in this little area for the uh, bloated zombies, but we're not having any luck with them. There are a couple of other locations on the island of Brescia that have little swamps uh, that we can get them. Here's the bats. Let's see if we can't get both of these guys. Oh, there we go. Two groups at once. We're going to roast these guys. Seven vampire bats, ten large bats. They're very fast, no armor. Uh, the large bats are weak against fire. The vampire bats, they have uh, life drain. So they steal life and they heal themselves just a little bit but they're fairly weak again ignite hot spot any sort of fire damage if you have it on a bow or a weapon uh, they'll go down fairly quickly and just make sure we had that on suicidal but that is the damp cave we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump out of this cave and uh, start on our next achievement Again, that was achievement number seven. Diamonds are no friends. Uh, join me next time as we go through uh, Mind the Pixies. And we're gonna try to get the pixie chest. And we're gonna defeat a whole bunch of uh, pixies, at least a, a, a dozen of them. If I can find where that one is. Zero deaths. We have a long ways ahead of us, folks, but we are working towards it. So, join me next time. We'll do Mind the Pixies and get that out of the way and continue on our achievement hunt.